In this tutorial, I'm going to give you a couple of examples of how to hide data in Excel. And I'm going to show you how to do that by what's called grouping. Now, this is different from hiding it, uh, from just regularly hiding data because it's very easy to tell what's hidden and how to unhide it very quickly. It's pretty cool and it allows you to click a little button to hide or unhide specific data. So let me show you how to do it. What I have here is <coughs> a basic uh, list of stock prices and trading volume for a stock and I've got a graph. Now what I want to do is I want to hide this data um, so it looks a little bit better but I want to be able to access it very quickly and without uh, having to right click and check unhide. So the way that you do that is simply select across the columns or if you're doing it by rows, across the rows. And so I want to hide these three columns, then go up to data, go to group and outline. And you can't see it very well on here, <coughs> but you're going to want to click the group button. And this little box will come up and it says, do you want to group the rows or columns? I want to group by columns click OK and you see this little thing appears so if I click the minus all of that data gets hidden the plus and it's back additionally I can click one and it'll hide or two and it will unhide the one and two are especially useful if say I have um, multiple selections of data that are grouped up here so I have like four of these things if I click two it's going to unhide all of those. One, it'll hide all of them. Now, notice that when I do this, all of the data comes off of the graph, because it's not going to graph data that it can't see. The way to get around that is very simply to select the graph where the, you want the data plotted, then go up to Tools, select Options. Here, you're going to want to go to the Chart tab and there underneath where it says active chart click or uncheck plot visible cells only so uncheck that box click OK and it's gonna plot all of the hidden data or the, the cells that aren't visible so that's one way you can group them or one use for it now another one I'm gonna show you is pretty neat it's for the VLOOKUP so what I have here is I have a VLOOKUP that I created in a, another tutorial and what it's going to do is when I enter the last name of an employee it's going to give me the first name, the person's job, the email, and the phone number. But I don't want to actually have to see the list of people. So if I had a list of like three, four thousand names you don't really want to have to see that there. So it's going to make it look better. So what I'm going to do I'm going to select these rows, go up to Data, Group and Outline, then I'm going to go down to Group, Group by Rows, click OK. Now click the check mark and all of the data is gone. Or it's not gone, you just can't see it. However, if I want to do this, it still works. So the VLOOKUP is still going to work even if the data is not visible. And that's what's pretty neat about it. And it's easy to tell uh, that uh, I have it grouped because you can see cell 5, row 5 to row 17. And once again, click 2 and 1 and it does that. If you want to ungroup the cells, simply click or select the rows, go up to Data, Group and Outline, and Ungroup. Ungroup rows and it's going to take that away. Similarly, that's how you can ungroup the columns. Select the grouped columns, go up to data and then group and outline and then select ungroup and that's going to do that. And that's how you can group and ungroup data in Excel.